Hello there people, this is Christian and welcome back to my computer and I'm going to move always a bit closer to the microphone so you can hear me better. It's Monday evening and this is another Reddit question on this shape here or I've taken the inspiration from this shape here. I, will, I don't know if we totally got copies, it's a bit hard to see the reflections how the geometry really is and you can do this a couple of different ways but this is the idea I get when I see this, and uh, I'm going to turn off that last uh, This is a base shape, and my idea is if we do a cross section to have a look, it looks a bit better. We can have a look here. I wanted a bit, I had the possibility to make it thicker on the bottom, a more narrow wall, and uh, to turn all the faces. You can see I have a short part here that's straight, so the, the fillet thing here, or the half circle shape here, does it not go all the way up. It's not being a short piece that's straight. And this is from a Reddit question. The question was how to do this, and we're going to do two workflows. First one is going to use features, and the second one is going to be just, uh, not only, but uh, more sketch based. And uh, this one you can see here is one done with features. And one of the questions that basically popped up was uh, about using features, specifically fillet, on how we set up the fillet for a button here so it works uh, for uh, if we change dimensions. Well, uh, let's see, we can open up a sketch and show dimensions. Come on, Fusion. Thank you. Uh, so this is a driven parameter so we can change this to 28 and the fillet updates or you should be able to do it maybe 22 more narrower version and uh, boy that is such a strange dimension I don't know we can make it even and nice so this is driven by these two dimensions this version here and only be slightly different so let's do workflow number one a new design to start with a sketch on our bottom bot our bottom, our bottom plane the uh, xy plane of course, we're going to create a slot, center to center slot, slightly out here, just pull it out like that. We could do the midpoint constraint to the center point here, or the region point. Uh, I'm going to do some dimension. I'm going to right click, select uh, a pick circle arc tangent, because I like to dimension the full length of a part. And uh, let's do 130 millimeters. And I want to dimension from here to here. So the first workflow is going to be using uh, features like extrude, fillets, and so forth. And I need to do some calculations to make the fillet work. So the first one going to here. So I need to name the parameter if it's easy to find it. I can find the name of a parameter, but we're going to do it like a width. And it equals, uh, let's make it 24 millimeters. And that dimension got wrong. I don't know why. Do it like that. I must have moved the mouse after I typed in the numbers. So we have a length and a width where we have added a name to it. So we can use it later. So we're going to finish sketch. Now we're going to do some extrudes. So we hit E on the keyboard to start the extrude command. So extrude number one is going to be our bottom thickness, which will not have any direct influences on the fillet. So we're just going to do it. 3.5 millimeters, what you want to do. E for extrude again, it's going to select the same profile. Thank you. We're going to switch over to thin extrude. And we're going to change, uh, let's do with distance first. Let's do it uh, 25 millimeters up. Uh, Fusion normally thinks we're going to cut, but no, 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 no. We want to join. And here comes the important part. We're going to set the wall thickness. Also, we, we need to later, we're going to do a fillet. So I'm going to do wall equals two millimeters like that yes we could use a shell command but the shell command would give us uh, the same wall thickness of the whole part and in this case uh, if we're going to do an inspect uh, sectional analysis like this you can see that the bottom is thicker than the side walls to you now we're going to do the fillet we can uh, open up and have a look at we have one body one sketch that's fully defined let's hide that sketch uh, F for fillet and it's wrong type. You're gonna do a normal fillet. Yes, we can use uh, rule fillet too, but we're gonna do normal fillet. Select the little edge down here. See if we can do this work. Uh, and now the dimension. We're gonna do. Uh, we need to know what the radius of this circle, basically, of this half circle, is here. So that's gonna be parentheses, the width of parts, minus wall uh, 
two times, so we can do multiply by two or minus wall again. In parentheses, and this the number is still too big because what do we have calculated is the diameter, and we need to divide it by, and uh, divide it by two, like that, and we have a perfect little thing. And I can see, oh, I did the first, the second is to be too high, so we could just go back and change that. Just do that twenty. That's more like it, and we can add more fill if we want to do that. And of course, as we saw earlier, let's do show dimensions. We can, sorry. We can change things. It need to be 150 millimeters, no problem. It needs to be 22 millimeters, no problem. It needs to be 28, that might crash it. No, it doesn't. So, this is a fully parametric, driven by these two dimensions. And uh, the height part, you need to edit the feature. So, this is one simple sketch, and we're using features to create things. Now, we do the other way around. Or well, not really the other way around, but we'll use sketches on only one feature. Uh, so, uh, I remove these steps, I'm going to delete them and remove them get them out of the way. We will keep our original sketch here and not destroy that one. And I'll create a new sketch on a plane here. Through everything. I just uh, turn it up a bit up so I can see better. Hit P for project and go put in this line and this line. Hit OK. Do look at and hide our first sketch. Now we're going to sketch the profile from here goes here, it goes up, it goes in slightly, it goes down, you're gonna hold the button, hold down the mouse button to get an arc and end up down here. Now do some constraints, this is gonna be perpendicular, and uh, I want the point here of a center point of arc to be horizontal above this here. So we're gonna make it horizontal from here to that point. Now we can start adding some dimensions. It's basically used the same as last time. You can change these to four. And that's the stupid side to have it on. Let's move it to that side. That's much easier. And we're gonna dimension the thick wall thickness up here. That's probably two millimeters again. And of course we need to the total height. Which is gonna do 23 millimeters. Finish sketch. Turn on our first sketch. We had done the needed sketches. And so you have used or you have that have used the Fusion software earlier, and you know what we're going to do. We're going to do a sweep. Sweep. We have created a path. That's the slot, and we have a profile. So let's select, select profile. Let's select path out here. And like that, we're going to hit OK. So in this case, we only needed two sketches and one uh, feature. And this feature does not do any dimensioning in itself. It just does what it gets told. So we're going to right click here and, sorry, not that we're going to write, sorry, up here and show dimensions. Because we can still pull these numbers out so we can see them. So we want to change thing. Oh, I want to do six millimeters down here. Yeah. No, it's supposed to be 26 here. Oh, that's too wide. 22. The height is too much. Going to do that 20. We can change any dimension what? So both these workflows are parametric in any way you can think of it. We can drive them in dimensions, uh, but they are two different ways of thinking of it or thinking of a workflow. And there are more. Of course, you can do the hot dog uh, workflow where you create uh, a revolve around here and cut away and stuff like that. And then extrude other things and you can do it in other steps. I just wanted to show slightly different ways of doing this shape here. And this very basic shape is a really nice thing to play around with, finding different workflows that you can then use for more advanced geometry. So, with that said, take care, see you around, and goodbye.